I'm stressed. My Apple Pencil is missing. Um, and if I don't find it, it's going to cost me like $134 to replace it. So my friend is asking around where they work, where I was at over the weekend to see if maybe it's there since there's not, the dining area is not really open. So hopefully it's there, which just means I'll get it on Thursday night or Friday. So we'll see. Um, I did just get approved for the mermaid, the witch, and the sea, I think it's called. Yeah, The Mermaid, the Witch, and the Seat, which I'm really excited about. I've been hyped about this book for a while, um, and I got approved an arc of it, so um, that does change my reading plans a little bit. I'm going to move um, The House That Fell From the Sky and probably go ahead and start The Mermaid, the Witch, and the Sea, because I think it's already out, um, but I got a free copy of it, so that's exciting. I'm going to get started on that hopefully today. Um, I'm trying to get 50% in Disguise of Pern and 50% into Aurora Burning, but I'm just not feeling it today, and having lost my Apple Pencil, it's stressful. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I also had a candle explode this morning. So, yeah, great. Um, so I got to open a, a bunch of birthday presents from my mom. <clears throat> and you want to know what she got me? I'll show you. Did I... <laughs> um, <laughs> I was cracking up. I'm really, really happy. She also got me the Shadowhunters Codex, so I will probably read over that this weekend. Um... <laughs> And some cool stuff for my Switch, which is exciting. The only thing is that I'm really struggling to get these stupid uh, caps on. Okay, I just got it on. I'm really struggling to get these caps on, but she got me these cool covers. And so I've got a new plate that I'm going to install. And then the other ones are uh, snap, snap-ons. snap So, uh, yeah, I am extremely hyped. I just wanted to say that, thanks to my mom. Um... So yeah, Bella just texted me really, really nice things. Probably because I was telling her I'm really sad because last year on my birthday we got to do a lot of fun things. And this year, um, I might go to Martins and Noble. <laughs> and that is all. Oh well. Oh well. Um, I'm going to finish putting these cool caps on.
but it won't make any difference. I don't have any other. Hello, it's the day before my birthday. I'm about to be 25, which is kind of honestly nuts. Just absolutely insane. Who let me become a whole adult, you know? You know? Anyway. Putting out candles with a snuffer is a whole lot harder than actually blowing them out. Mostly because I'm too short to tell um, when it's actually out. So, yeah. Anyway, I know I'm rambling. It's because it's been a very long day. Uh, basically, it's the day before my birthday and a tornado might hit. And tornadoes don't come to Texas, like, ever. So, that's really weird. Um, and... You know, I'm having a birthday during a pandemic, so that also really sucks. And, oh, I thought I was holding uh, the camera on the mic the whole time, and I was just going to shoot myself. Uh, I finished The Skies of Pern. It was really interesting to learn about Flar and Les's uh, children, and it was a good time. I enjoyed it. Um, I also... I finished Throwaway Girls. I don't remember if I put gave an update on that or not, but I did finish Throwaway Girls. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I have made my TBR TBR for June and managed to have nine like most of the books that I want to read are sapphic. So that's really good because it's Pride Month. Very hyped about that. Um, I created the most ratchet photo setup today. I didn't film it, but basically I um, hung up that pull up bar. <laughs> from when I used to go to the gym a lot, and I um, hung hangers on it, and on those hangers I clipped a blanket, and um, I used that for pictures. Those will be coming out soon. I'm thinking I'm changing the way I'm doing Instagram posts, so we'll see how that goes. I'm very tired. Uh, so far this is going to be a shitty birthday. Um, yeah. So... Whatever. <laughs> I just want a gluten-free brownie sundae, and I may not get one, you know? And that's really frustrating. I'm hoping that it works out and I can get one, um, but we'll see. All right. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble and watching me and Dad take apart my Switch and break a remote, and what a time to be alive. <laughs> um, where is she at? Here she is. She's pretty now. This this cap I had to take off because we messed up a button and I had to fix it real quick. And then I just have this snap on back um, because uh, Nintendo fucked me and gave me a, a stripped screw, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go. I got to pack up my car, get ready to skedaddle to my friend's house for the weekend for my birthday. I guess I should be thankful for the fact that I at least get to see them. Um... And the library's doing curbside now. So I'm grateful for that, too. Alright, well, so far, we are less than 24 hours away from me turning 25, and I am not being very positive. I'm sorry. Alright, bye. It's Monday morning. I didn't film over the weekend because, um... Some really terrible things are happening in the world. Uh... Yeah, it was my birthday. I still got to buy books. Um, that kind of thing. But some really terrible things are happening in the world. My videos are scheduled out through to the end of June. So this update won't even come until the end of June. Um, however, I will be updating the descriptions to include links to donating to Black Lives Matters. Black Lives Matter spaces. Um, it's the least I can do as a creator. Um, I'm seeing mixed uh, opinions about whether or not we should still be even posting unless we're talking about what's going on. Um, I, I don't want to post and act like things are normal because they're not. But at the same time, I know that booktube is a break for some people, so I'm going to let my videos still post as scheduled, but I'm going to include links and things, so, yeah. 
Hi. I'm just going to combine um, the vlogs from yesterday, the last week to end this week because I didn't... That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to play The Sims. I did a workout for the first time in a long time and my body hurts. Um, I finished Incendiary. Really, really good. Um, more people should be talking about it. I felt really similar to We Set the Dark on Fire, uh, but not gay. Um, but really, really good. Oh, and We Set the Dark on Fire doesn't have, like, magic. So. Um, I also finished oh, another one of the Dragon Riders books. I believe it was the last one. So thank fucking god for that. The last one that I've written down, which means I am done. I am not reading anymore. I've read 16 now, maybe? Uh, I really need to sit down and film my sit down video for my like May wrap up, but I make no promises. I'm very tired this week. Um, what else happened? I'm gonna try and finish The Knockout Queen. It is written by a straight white woman about a gay teen's experience, gay man, teen, male, mm -hmm, teen's experiences. And that doesn't sit right with me. I mean, is that pretentious of me? It just feels weird. And it feels like every other chapter they're like, he's talking about how much he loves to fuck dudes off Craigslist. Craigslist. I'm like, um... I knew a lot of gay dudes in their early, like, in their late teens, and that was in 2010, and that was not the vibe. Uh, so it's just weird. It just felt like a lot of TV tropes and, oh, your generation grew up with Will parents who watched Will and Grace and so, like, that's not, I'm not enjoying it. Luckily, it's like a 200 page book. So I'm probably going to finish it tonight when I shower, when I take a bath, because then I can knock it out and then get rid of it forever and never look at it again. It just... It doesn't sit right with me. Maybe I'm wrong. Normally, though, I'm not when it comes to those things, so... I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go now. been long. I posted a blog post of books to read um, if you're a white person. Um, also linking to lists written by non-white people about books to read if you're a white person because I would like people to read their lists way before reading mine. Um, so for the next, I guess, I don't know, maybe forever. I'll just keep putting this in the YouTube link, YouTube bio thing. Um, anyhow, I am 50% into the Henna Wars, and I fucking love it. I hate that I waited. I know I waited until June because of Pride Month, but I hate that I waited until, like, waited so long because it is such a good book. Um, I'm also 25% into, um, two books. The Mermaid, the, or the, the Mermaid, the Witch, and the Sea. The Witch, the Mermaid, and the Sea. Some order. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying that. Uh, come on now. We've got, uh, like, a daughter of a high lady of the court, uh, who's a lesbian, or into women, at the very least, uh, teaching a pirate, a boy pirate, how to read, but secretly, the pirate's a woman. Ah! That's, that's all. It's very, I, that's all. I enjoy it so far very much. 
Um, additionally, 25% into these witches don't burn. Not as hyped for that one. Oh my god, I just watched... Oh my god, this cat just climbed up a tree to catch a lizard. The lizard... And my dogs just saw the cat. That cat, like, kills things all the time. Birds, lizards, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, my best friend is coming over. Um... So she'll, we'll be hanging out, so I might not film a whole lot, Whoa. but we'll see. Alright, I'm gonna go. I got work to do and books to read. Bye. I look like a trash can um oh it's been a week y'all um people just showing their asses on the internet as racist which is not shocking I was gonna say it's shocking but it's really not um holy shit um holy shit anyway I uh my best friend was here yesterday, so I wasn't able to- I'm getting to see both of my best friends in one week. Amazing! And I'm gonna be home alone, which means I can film, uh, without interruption. So I'm gonna film a queer book rec video. Um, I've kind of been talking with some people and I'm like, is it- can I- can I still talk about Pride Month? Um, and that kind of thing. I- don't have queer books written by black authors and when I get paid I will be fixing that um, so Friday I will be purchasing um, queer books by black authors I actually went to buy clap when you land on my birthday when I went birthday shopping um, but it wasn't they said they had it but then they didn't have it and I didn't want to like interact one-on-one -on -one with someone uh, due to COVID so it was weird enough being inside a store. I felt very anxious and I had my mask on and I was like, I don't want to touch any of the books because like, you know. Um, so anyway, I will be resolving that this Friday uh, and ordering books. I am almost done with The Mermaid, The Witch, and the Sea and I'm really emotional and I really fucking love it. And same with Henna Wars. Oh my God, amazing. These books are just oh, so good. I'm going to try and finish them both today. Uh, I'm also reading These Witches Don't Burn, and it's okay. It's alright. <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. That's where we're at. I haven't bleh, filmed because everything is kind of a lot right now, and um, I have no excuse. I'm white. I have literally no excuse. I um, Film that video kind of explaining like my videos are queued up and that kind of thing um but also i have i don't have to keep doing this but filming gives me a sense of normalcy and i would like to continue to have that sense of normalcy so i'm gonna turn my fan off because you're probably hearing that weird wind um i did manage to take some pictures uh that i'm really really proud of for instagram for pride um so that's exciting uh, and I've been approved lots of queer books, which is exciting. Uh, yeah. Um, I have to clean. My room is a hot mess from setting up pictures yesterday and then my friend being over and I need to clean Swim and M's tank. Um, so, yeah. We're gonna try and clean today. Try and be busy. Um... I don't have anything else to say. Okay, bye. <laughs> this is Editing Andy. It's literally July the 16th, and when I filmed this, it was the last week of May and then the first week of June. It is now 
July 16th. Um, I didn't film an outro. So, I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna... This is the outro. I hope you liked this video. I don't even fully remember. I skimmed it. I kind of know what I talked about. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Um, if you didn't, please... Why? Just kidding. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything interesting that I talked about. You want to talk about The Mermaid, The Witch, and the Sea? Because we can talk about it. It's like my new favorite book. So, I'm going to go. Hope you guys are having a great day.